okay um i want to show you how you can edit already made design that is um, a template a sticker template for for the picture editing from here you launch your photoshop this is my photoshop environment you know how you can make your way around this place and then minimize it go to your folder where you can get those those pictures or ready-made PSD files that is Photoshop Photoshop file now this is the one I'm using you click on it and drag drag it to the Photoshop environment this is it already I've edited this one I've, de I've edited the date which is uh, 12th November Sunday 12th November 2023 so for you to edit this particular stuff and then group it i'm going to show you how you can group them now for you to edit any one of it you click on text two you can see the text two you click on it and then come to any text of your choice and click so from here i can edit any of this uh, if i want to edit this particular one i'll just come here and uh, remove something and then put another text but this is not what i want to edit mm -hmm. i'll leave that one that way that is sunday service so if you want to change the design it's left for you to do that so i am showing you any text you finish editing you click on the pick tool which is this one mm -hmm. in photoshop it is called move to you click on it to uh, to activate or to apply those particular editing you did so once you see the program for sunday service you can see the theme there you can quickly come and highlight this one go to text two once you highlight it you go to text two and then highlight it press ctrl key plus a to highlight all and then put the particular theme for the day are you getting me so if you want to edit every other one after editing you click on move to to apply then this one is the object this is object you can move it about so if you want to change this object color what you need to do is to go to layer fill color but I have my tool here already my layer property tool so you can go to this place and bring out the property tool which is from here from this place property tool so that it will appear here so that it will appear here so if i highlight the object i'll go to property tool and then look at where you give colors so we have solid color and gradient color so what i give to the first one is gradient color you come here and choose gradient color of your choice come and choose gradient color of your choice if you want to give solid color you can select from here so all these ones are gradient color so if you want to give line color you select from here everything is here for the property then the second one the second layer is a um, normal red color as you can see it's a solid color i do not have gradient color for it i do not put it gradient color so you can see the dimension of this particular object i selected the height and the width you can see them there so that is the x axis and y axis so from here you can edit whatever you want to edit this is for the for editing uh, a designing template so as you can see for the layout here for the layer these are the layer i have in this my job now this little sticker for the picture sunday service picture so these are the layer so anyone you want to highlight if you don't want to click here you can still come to this place and click on it once you click on it it will highlight so this thing you are seeing here is a duplicate of its own as you can see if i zoom this thing now if i zoom it you will see that you have black under it so that black is the duplicate are you getting me that's the duplicate of the thing so you can shift this one are you seeing it so the duplicate is the one down if you want to bring that one up is left for you but this is how i run that stuff so you can use this after everything 
you highlight all of them and group hmm? match down match layers are you seeing it match layers so that is it match layers you highlight it once you highlight you press ctrl key plus e are you seeing it to do what to group as you can see it's grouped hmm? it's grouped now so that is how you group your work in photoshop photoshop all right i think i've done justice to that i've done justice to that so what i did now is ctrl z you know in photoshop if you press ctrl z it will only um it will only redo or undo the previous action but if you want it to continue undoing continue undoing you add control alternate key plus z to continue undoing but if you press only continue or if, if you press only undo it will only undo the current action so that is it after that you you bring it down you bring it down you bring it down minimize it to this way are you getting me i'm done with this once you minimize it like, like this you go back to your where you have pictures you go back to where you have pictures let's say these pictures are for editing you can just move them move the pictures to where you want to edit i'm not going to edit the picture i'm just using it to show you i'm just using it to show you how you can apply this particular sticker you did so after editing this picture after editing the pictures then you come and then drag this thing out here that is the work you've done if it is not you know large you can highlight it you can resize it to suit the design and then after resizing is either you click here to apply or you press enter key on your keyboard after that you do what you press ctrl key plus e to march down or you come here and then click on that particular one march down it will you know group together i think i've i've done justice to that thank you very much for listening